Hey, everybody, welcome to CES 2023 here in the Luminar booth. I'm Daniel Newman, your host of the 6-5 podcast. And we're on the road here at 2023 CES, as I said, in the West Hall at the Luminar booth. And I'm joined by Joanna Butler with Daimler Truck today to talk a little bit about what she's seeing in the truck industry, trucking, autonomous, and so much more. But first and foremost, Joanna, for everybody out there that hasn't met you before, tell everybody a little bit about the work that you do for Daimler Truck North America. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you so much for having me. Um, so yeah, I'm the head of the autonomous technology group at Daimler Truck. So uh, we are actually uh, developing level four autonomous driving together with two partners. We work with Torque Robotics, who is our in-house partner, as well as Waymo, uh, to bring autonomous trucks to the market uh, in this decade. Um, in specific, uh, at Daimler Truck, I'm responsible to develop the uh, autonomous driving truck platform. So we are developing the level four redundant systems and the platform that will enable safe and reliable autonomous driving. So, so I got to ask first and foremost, trucking. Okay. So a little backstory on me. I came out of the trucking industry. Um, I'm a tech industry analyst now, but I grew up, my father owned a trucking company. So I actually grew up, um, for a trucking company based in Chicago. We had, you know, a few dozen semis. I used to spot the trucks when I was 12 years old you know, these seven and 11 speed trucks. And I, I ran away out of the industry. I ran away, actually, ultimately as an adult, I ran away. I'm like, I'm gonna go get into a different tech, like semiconductors and chips. It's all coming back, by the way, together now. But I gotta ask you, what got you into, you know, trucking? Like what kind of made you decide to get into this and end up leading this part of Daimler's business? Well, uh, you know, trucking is really the backbone of the industry. I don't have to tell you that. So thanks for sharing your story. And I'm just so passionate about the purpose that we serve, right? We really keep the world moving. Uh, we saw it in a bit negative way when uh, the, the, the supply chain and trucking is disrupted. It impacts everyone's lives. So really what gets me up in the morning is making a positive impact on everyone's lives. And with autonomous driving, I see, you know, we can um, increase safety on our highways, uh, increase freight efficiency, and ultimately keep uh, the supply chain moving. Yeah, it's super important. And thanks for letting me share my story. I, I, I just kind of wonder, because when someone's like, I'm doing this, you know, cars are kind of cool, but trucks are kind of necessary. Absolutely. And so sometimes I think people are like, well, why'd you go that way? And, you know, and, and you're leading such an important thing. And I had the chance recently to ride, and I, you know, I won't talk about who it was, but in an autonomous truck around the Silicon Valley, and I was like blown away. You know, I laid in the back seat. It was, a, it was an extended with a, the bed, and I was laying back there. And there was a driver, because it's the, you know, the L2 Plus, but no hands. And I'm just laying there taking photos. I'm like, hey, look at me, everybody. I'm in a truck with no, uh, with, with no driver, like, you know, no actual driver. It was good for social media. But in reality, I was super glad there was a guy with a CDL in the seat. Um, that's a good thing. But, you know, let's just talk a little bit about kind of what you're seeing. So you're here at CES. Um, you know, you've got your partnerships. You're moving forward. Um, but what kind of, like, brings you here? Like, kind of what are you thinking and what are you excited about here for, you know, autonomous trucking in the future over the next uh, 12 months for 2023? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, we see, you know, obviously like Luminar, a lot of the technology providers that are enabling uh, level four autonomous driving, you know, LiDAR is such a critical component for the safety and reliability of the system and really learning. I'm uh, it's, a, it's a constant learning journey for, for myself and really exploring what's what's out there. So what I see um, in the next 12 months when we think about autonomous driving and how it's going to evolve is really we're, we're moving into the maturing the system, right? Everyone's testing. You were on this test ride, um, and I've done this as well with our with our own a great product with with Torque, and it's an amazing uh, experience, by the way. So so mind blowing, and it definitely will come, just a matter when. Um, but yeah, really maturing the system from from uh, our side, from the track platform side, making it uh, ready to go driverless uh, eventually. And that is really the, the focus. And then seeing who we can partner with and what all the technologies are out there uh, to support that. So where are you at right now in the journey? Are we uh, with Daimler and your two partners? What can you put out on the road today? So we actually have already started delivering our uh, first um, prototypes uh, to Waymo that are fully redundant and they're already operating on public roads in uh, 
in mode two, which is autonomous in autonomous mode. And we are testing also actively with Talk Robotics. They are operating uh, between Albuquerque and Amarillo, and they are also piloting this technology already with fleet customers, which is super important that we really integrate it seamlessly into our customers' operations. It's not a science project. We ultimately want to provide value to the fleets and getting closer to them and understanding how that their business works and how this technology can make their business better is so critical and there will be uh, a large focus on that even more so this year. So let's talk a little bit about sensing. Okay, so in order to do autonomy at any, at any level, there's different schools of thought. But most of what I've seen in, in the uh, in, in trucking and in, um, in, in bigger, you know, well, actually all vehicles now is multi sensing approach. There's camera, there's radar, there's lidar. What's the Daimler perspective on sensing? Which sensing are you investing in? Kind of which are you finding value, or is it an all in approach like a lot of the uh, the you know companies are? All doing? of the above. <laughs> so uh, yeah, absolutely. We believe in, in multi sensing and really uh, all these technologies, using them as complementary technologies, and uh, to get really the best vision and and the best perception of your environment and get a really a safe system out there. So that's why we are looking at uh, who are the partners so we can work with for series production um, also on the LiDAR side. So w how quickly do you move uh, from, you know, this is the big question, but I just, I, I got to ask it. Everyone wants to know when we're going to, you know, be driving down the highway or riding down the highway and we're going to look up at the big rig and you're going to see an empty seat and that thing's just going to be hauling. Is that a, is that, I mean, I know there's experimental going on in China and some here in the U.S., but largely it's still mostly assist. Is it a few years? I mean, what's kind of the perspective on when that starts to turn? Well, we have set ourselves a goal um, to uh, enable level four driving within this decade. So I think we're well on our way uh, to achieve that, but it's not going to be tomorrow either. So, and we, it is a marathon really, not a sprint. And I think it's very important that we take the right time to mature the system, to do it safely and prove it out, validate it before we actually really uh, take a driver uh, out of, of the of the cab. So I think in the next couple of years, you still see the safety driver in there within the testing uh, period, but um, definitely the ultimate goal would be to enable a system that can drive uh, completely on its own, so level four. And we're here uh, sitting at the Luminar booth, obviously a LiDAR company, and I'm, I'm not gonna ask you to comment on that specifically, but one of their kind of big narratives is all about safety, right? Saving lives. And so we talked about multi-sensing, we've talked about autonomy, we've talked about safety drivers, but if you wanna save lives, you gotta get things right from the policy to the mapping to of course the sensing and the technologies. Um, what is sort of the perspective that you have on the safety profile? Because um, in the long run, I think we've all agreed that autonomy will mean safer. But in the short run, we still have a lot of infrastructure challenges. You still have a lot of, it's not going to be, all, until it's all autonomous, you still have humans and humans create. So kind of how much safer does Daimler believe that you can make things? Do you guys have any stats, any data, or just a general perspective on safety and what you're, what you're building? I think from, from a general perspective, um, what is key is to really stay focused, you know, not trying to do it all. So we're really focused on hop to hop uh, on highway driving uh, in a less complex, maybe operational environment and really maturing that to a safe state. And um, and that's, you know, really where, where we see uh, deploying, you know, safety processes, operational safety is very important. You know, it starts actually within the testing phase. You know, that s safety is at the forefront of everything uh, that we do, even, you know, when it's not f fully deployed that. And then as we are talking about uh, LiDAR technology, something that's also critical that we have the right technology that can see far uh, in the distance, you know, and can also operate on high highway speeds. Yeah, as an industry analyst, the one thing I can say is when you know there's a sensing technology that can meaningfully and dramatically improve the outcomes, you'd say, why not? Except, you know, to some extent with what we're actually seeing in production of like, you know, passenger vehicles, you're, it's not been picked up at the scale yet. And, you know, we're seeing prices come down. We're seeing it become more. But in trucking, it feels like there's going to be no option. There's no way to not use all because the insurance risks, the safety risks. I always know growing up, my, my dad always said to me, we're one lawsuit away from bankrupt. And as, as a family of a, of a trucking company, it was really true. And so safety has to be with, in your world, like 
what has to be at the very very top it drives it drives everything absolutely absolutely and it's kind of that this is just the the entry right and then from there you start improving performance you try you start improving uptime uh to really bring a product to the market that's uh, a benefit to our customers so i know you're uh you know you got a lot going on and so i don't want to take too much more of your time up but uh you don't have a booth here right you guys are are you know your partners are here and so you're you're here but like as a fun question, anything you've seen walking around, whether it's here in the automotive hall or just around CES, if you've seen anything as your eyes, uh, that's caught your eyes, that's really interesting? Definitely the big caterpillar. So I had to take a picture next to it as well. And uh, just from our side, yeah, you, we don't have a booth here, but uh, you can see a, a Freightliner with a Waymo VR driver uh, installed uh, in their booth uh, on the central plaza. So we are really proud of that. I love that you said the caterpillar, by the way. I mean, if, if I could turn that camera around right now, it's like literally right there. And there's a big line of people. And I said, you know, when I saw that. I'm like, that's like my entire childhood summed up in one giant caterpillar. I'm like, when I was a little kid, that was all I wanted was like that dumb truck dropped off in my cul-de-sac so I could play in it. And I definitely had to take a picture next to that big tire. That is a big, that is a big cat. So, well, Joanna, I want to thank you so much for joining me here on the 6.5 on the road at the Luminar booth. I know you've got a lot going on. Very excited to see Daimler continue to, you know, to innovate and evolve. And really, you said it early, the backbone industry, really, when we get our stuff, all that stuff we want, you can be pretty sure there was a truck that got it to where, where it had to go. Absolutely. Thank you so much. This was fun. All right, everybody, hit that uh, subscribe button. We really appreciate you tuning in to the 6.5 on the road here at CES 2023 in the West Hall at the Luminar booth, sitting next to some pretty cool vehicles. I hope they're in the shop, but if they're not, maybe get your eyes in here. Check out their Twitter and find out more for yourself. For myself, for the 6.5, and for my bestie that couldn't join me today, Patrick Moorhead, I got to say goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you all later.